Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at yet another viewer recommended ISO, XP Royale. XP Royale aims to make Windows XP better, a better overall user experience. So as you can see here on the setup screen, even it's even identified up here. Typically this is like Windows XP Professional, but this says XP Royale. Enter, and unfortunately, it did not detect any hard disks on our computer, which is very disappointing. But this is also something that we've seen in the past with XP VMs and I don't I can't remember if it wants an IDE drive or a SATA drive but just for fun so we don't have to reboot again we're gonna add both and we'll see which one it picks up so now we have a SATA drive a SCSI drive and an IDE drive in this VM this isn't exclusive to XP Royale this is something that I don't know why VMware's default disk type for Windows XP isn't detected um, but one of those things that you have to add a different type of disk. I just can't remember if it's IDE or SATA. I think it's IDE, but just to play it safe, we'll add all three and see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and press enter, F8. Yep, we'll do NTFS quick. And now we are installing Windows XP Royale. All right, and here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and enter our name, which will just be Royale. And now I have to find a product key. All right, I found a product key on GitHub that actually let me go through. So now we're going to continue, and here we are. So while this is installing, it will not take 30 minutes. We can see the theme here. Again, this is a part of the of their attempt to create a better user experience, and I really do like this theme. It doesn't feel super modern, but it feels more modern than what we typically see in Windows XP. So I really do like what they've done so far in the setup. All right, and I'm sure you can probably hear it playing through my computer speakers, but there is the welcome music that is currently playing but it does sound a little different. I had to turn it off in OBS just so that you would be able to hear me because for some reason it won't let me adjust the actual sound settings for OBS for my actual desktop audio. So we're gonna name this Royale next and that is it. We should be welcomed. And here we are. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually install VMware tools just so that you guys can get a little bit better view um, I think that's very important considering the gigantic black bars on the left and the right of our screen. So let's go ahead and install this. Based on the product key, I believe this is SP3, so Service Pack 3. Um, I don't know what specific version of XP this is though, so I'm eager to take a look at that. All right, and now that VMware Tools has installed, and for some reason my Windows 11 taskbar is still present, that should be a little better now that that is gone, we can now come take a look at Windows XP Royale. First thing is first, I love this background. It's kind of a custom theme spin off of the typical Windows XP Bliss background. I really do like it. Let's take a look at the notes here. XP Royale is a mod meant to, to significantly improve the user experience and design and have a Royale aesthetic. It recreates the idea from GMM's OS mockups 12 into an actual OS and fixes mi mishaps done in XPies. We have plus features from Media Center Edition as well as features from XP Unity and Tablet PC. And here are a whole bunch of change logs. Um, we are currently using the RTM build. Um, it is the largest build on archive.org. I believe it's 1.1 gigs. So I'm very eager to see what we have in store. Let's start off with the taskbar. We can see that it definitely has a different color scheme from the typical Windows XP. Um, I actually do like this. This feels like something that would have came out between XP and Vista, kind of like a middle ground. I actually think I might prefer some of this over the traditional Vista. This definitely should have been a theme for Windows XP. Um, over on this side of the screen, we have our time. We have Windows Security Alert, Safely Remove Hardware, the volume with the tra traditional Windows XP sound, and then VMware Tools. Over on the left side, we of course have our start menu, which brings up our custom theme start menu with this kind of, I don't even know, gradient layer but you can see sh like a highlight there and kind of a shadow over here i really do like it i like these co this color scheme as well uh, we of course have internet explorer which i believe this will be internet explorer six or five internet explorer six from 2005 there we go going back we have the outlook express windows media player msn messenger file and settings transfer wizard and notepad Overall, what we have installed, we have our traditional accessories. And as we saw in the change log, we also have things like the included tablet PC functionality um, and something else, the media center stuff. That's also what we have. And snipping tool. 
I did not realize that Snipping Tool actually came or was even available for Windows XP. In fact, I don't think it was. I think that was an add-on um, that is included with this specific build. So that's pretty cool. We then have Microsoft Update, which is different. I don't know. Is that Windows Update? I'm not entirely sure. Um, games. We have our traditional games. Unfortunately, there's no Purple Place. Everyone on this channel knows that Purple Place is my favorite game from this era. But we do have 3D Pinball. This is going to open really loud. Let's go ahead and open the Start menu and go back into all programs. Uh, Windows Catalog, Windows Update, blah, 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 MSN, Outlook Media, and Movie Maker. So that is very cool. In my computer, we are currently using, let's see how much space we have. We are using 3.4 gigabytes of space, um, and we have a 40 gig drive. So I believe that's what a typical Windows XP install would take up. In Task Manager, we are using, ooh, there's an application running called Vista Drive Icon. So is that, that, so if I end that task, I don't know what that did. Um, but regardless, yeah, I don't know what that even was. Uh, under performance, we're using 2% of our CPU usage to five, whatever. And then 243 megs of RAM out of, I believe I gave this one gig. So not terrible, but not, I mean, typical Windows XP fashion, things of that nature. So let's just you know kind of browse around the UI here because that's really what this is all about, the different UI that we can see here. Um, what kind of themes do we have? Ooh, that's new. I don't know. I like this. So we can change the background here. Uh, right now it is set to bliss. We can change the theme. Uh, Pre-installed we have XP, Windows Classic, Aquarium. I do like Aquarium. Uh, da Vinci, Nature and space let's see Ooh, i want to try space and look at that even our start menu or our cursor rather changes to a rocket what does it do if we change it to something like nature oh we get like a little a little um a leaf this for some reason the leaf reminds me of Bodhi linux i haven't heard that name in such a long time but yeah let's switch back to the windows xp theme we can then change our mouse pointers so as we saw there are a whole bunch of different mouse pointers we can choose from um, different screen savers. This even says Windows XP Royale in a nice blue theme. Um, what else do we have? We have various other aquarium, Da Vinci. This is just artwork. Yeah, it just looks like artwork in that classic beautiful Windows XP 3D rendering. That is that is great. I really do miss screen savers. They were fun. Um, Nature, solar winds. This one is really cool. I actually had this one back on my XP machine if it would run, but it doesn't appear like it wants to run right now. Um, then we have display settings and sounds. So that being said, this is just a brief overview of Windows XP Royale. Definitely something very interesting that I enjoy taking a look at. I really enjoy taking a look at these custom builds of Windows as it really just shows various perspectives of how developers have wanted to theme Windows over the years. So that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.